Hey y'all, I'm Skylar Vixen. And I'm Amos Andrew. And welcome to the main stage. The show where we'll be discussing the looks and fashion of RuPaul's Drag Race season 13. And we are finally at the top five. Yeah. Yes, it has been <laughs> a journey, girl. We only have Ooh. three episodes left until the season is over. I feel like we have been doing this for forever. Girl, I just know we didn't need this for like three months now. Girl. But um, if you're watching this when it comes out, happy Easter, y'all. Yes. Honey, I can finally eat fast food now that lit is over. <laughs> girl, you going to Chick-fil-A right after this? I, I might, I might, girl. Oh, they closed. Oh. <laughs> It's that That's so, that is so fucking rude. Uh, but let's get to today's episode. Yes, you guys, so this theme runway is Hot Pocket. So if you know the theme like Hot Couture, mm -hmm. it just kind of did a, like a twist on that and it's gonna be very, I guess, pocket focused. Yeah. So I'm very interested to see where the girls will look. Um, and it's normal, we're gonna rate the looks from one to 10. 10 be like, yes, bitch, you serve that pocket look. Give me the whole outfit. Yes. Or one, bitch, you look like that. Hot pocket, bitch. Like, keep your ass in the freezer. Honey, the pepperoni. <laughs> Honey, the cheese. We got <laughs> combination meat. <laughs> uh, and of course, after we review the looks, we're going to have a Naomi Kimmel of the week, and that's the girl who really serves pocket realness. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get into today's episode. First up is our girl, Simone Ye, honey. As you said, pocket. I'm coming out as a pocket, honey, a little dog peeking outside of the pocket. Let's <laughs> say less. Girl, this F this look is really cute. I gave it a nine. Um, I really like that she took the hot couture part of it, because, bitch, this looks like something you would see on the runway. Yeah. Um, it's not draggy, but I like that it's different than, you know, what people would usually do for this um, category. But, yeah, I like it. She looked very, um, what was it, Haley Williams from Paramore? Yeah. She was <laughs> serving the emo. She knew that Haley Williams. She said, the lead speaker from Paramore. How do you know the producers were like, bitch, cut that. Right. Um, I like this look a lot, too. I gave it a nine as well. Um, I love, love, love the pants on uh -huh. this. I love a fierce bell bottom, bitch. I only didn't give this to ten because... I wish she would've got more creative and maybe like um, painted her face to look like, what's something that we keep in our pocket a lot? Like a, a coin. Mm -hmm. Or like, say if she came out bitch and her hair was like a nickel or a quarter, yeah. or like a lint, or like a little Q-tip, something that you keep not in your a, pocket. Not a lint. <laughs> but I think she could, like you said, brought a little more drag to the look. Um, but nonetheless, she looks fucking gorgeous. That wig is everything too. Um, so yeah, good job, Simone. Yes, congrats, girl. Next up, we have our girl, Miss Olivia Lux, honey, giving you very glamour pocket. I really like this. I gave this look an eight. She looks gorgeous. This is the Olivia that I know. Mm -hmm. This is the Olivia that we grew to love. Yeah. She, this, who, this is the Olivia started, <laughs> and that's where she at now. And this is how she look at the watch when she's walking out the door. Yes. <laughs> um, but she looks really good, and so I'm really happy with this look. Um, mm -hmm. I'm also very happy that she went home, because <laughs> I was over it. <laughs> I was over her. Um, but nonetheless, she looks gorgeous. Yes, um, I gave this look a seven. The judges didn't really like it, but bitch, this look is so like pretty. Yeah. Bitch, I want this dress. Like, it looks so good, especially with all the sparkles on it and everything. Yeah. Olivia, of course, looks fucking flawless. Um, she I mean, beautiful. Yeah, the, her only thing was that it wasn't out of the box or creative mm -hmm. enough. Uh, so, unfortunately for that, um, that put her at the lower end of the runway. But yeah, the fact that. She left looking this good, yeah. I think is a plus for her. Cause girl, some of these runways, she has not looked so great. Yeah, and what I really want her to do is when she comes back from All Stars, like mm -hmm. leave your cutesy shit at the door. Come in as a diva, come in as a fierce competitor that we have seen you to be yeah. and slay it. Don't come in like, uh, I'm over it. <laughs> and so are the judges. Yeah, so uh, when you come back for All Stars, girl, just slay it. Period. Next up is the challenge winner, honey, Miss Rosé. And this outfit I thought was just okay. Now I was really gagged because online people had like a poll of which outfit was your favorite and Rosé was winning. And I was like, this outfit, it's cute, but it's not all that. Um, I definitely give it a seven. I do think it's, you know, a creative take. I think it's unique, but at the end of the day, it's just like, it's nothing wows me, you know, with yeah. it. Um, but she looks good. The makeup, she was giving me Butch a little bit. <laughs> she gave me. She, she was giving me a little bit of man, but I mean, she does have really strong features, so she can't help it. What did you rate that? A seven. Yeah, I gave this with a six. It was very basic. Mm -hmm. Um, just like she said, she's giving very mod, honey. She's giving you very um Austin Powers, honey. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on. Um, but yeah, it was really basic. It was cute, but mm -hmm. this is look. It kind of looks like very costumey to me. This is something I feel like you could buy. If you were doing like, oh girl, I want to be 60s yeah. costume girl. 
Okay, Amazon, Boom. news pops up. You know, um, but yeah. Yeah, it's just whatever. But uh, congrats on winning the challenge, girl. Yes. I definitely think the um, winner is between her and Simone at this point. Yeah. Maybe it would've been better if she would've had like a one black sock and maybe a white, one, sock. A white sock and a one black pump with a white pump. But yeah. who knows? None of this, I probably would've gave it still a seat. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Honey, next we have our girl Miss Candy Mew surviving yet another lip sync. Yeah, another. Honey, honey, this what, third? Girl, a uh, 16th. Honey, 25? Girl. One of those. Um, however, this look did not survive the lip sync because this look is a fucking mess. Yes. I gave this like a two. Um, when I first saw bitch, it reminded me, you know when you were like in kindergarten or first grade and you had those little notes that your teacher would pull it out. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. give you like a behavior of the day, like a honey, yeah, a, red, a red slip. A red slip, yellow. That's what this would give me. I just want to put a slip in her dress. Yeah. Um, but it looks very poorly made. I don't know what's going on. I'm just like, my eyes bouncing and not in a good way. My eyes bouncing like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. um, so, no. And Candy has been very up and down with her, her looks this yes. season. Um, one minute we love it, bitch, and the next minute you get something like this. So, mm -hmm. um, whatever. Hopefully, if she does make it into like that final drag look, I guess we'll see that next week. Yeah. She'll really show up and show out. Yeah, uh, bitch, this ugly. This, not ugly. <laughs> this outfit is ugly. <laughs> bitch, this gets a one for me. I don't know what the fuck it's supposed to be. It is too much is going on. I'm glad the judges read her themselves because this looks like <laughs> shit. Honey, um, look like what? It looks like shit. <laughs> Honey, the only thing I like is that little bob, honey. And I don't like that. That two-tone wig cover, that look, uh, -uh. uh But yeah, I I did feel bad for her because, uh, like, you know, on the runway, she said that she didn't feel good in the look. She knew she looked like a boo-boo the fool. So why you bring it? A girl, I don't, honey, why you wear? I don't know, baby. Because you could have came out in something that Rosé was giving and yeah. been okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this outfit is literally probably one of the worst of the series. <laughs> Damn, girl. Also, y'all... You know, this season has some really good looks. You know, we've had God Meg, Fashion Queen, we've had Utica with some good looks, Simone with all the great looks. But bitch, there have been some fucking ugly ass outfits between Candy, this one, the one last year with the little alien, Lala Ree's little bag look, all of Tina Burner's <laughs> All of them. All of them. So, uh, at the camp. girl. So I was a little gagged at how bad some of the, the fashion has been this season. But nevertheless, congrats, Candy, on making it into the finale. And then finally on the runway, we have got Mick, and I love this outfit. I gave it a nine. Um, I like the reference, you know, a flash or whatever, but bitch, the little corset under it with all the watches, bitch, I want that. That is couture in itself. It was giving me, um, like someone said, Cardi B, yeah. I don't know, whatever music video that was, yeah. but it is just sickening. I love it. You don't like it, girl? I don't like it's a look. Well, girl, it's, I, why not? It's she like, looks great. Like, I won't take that, but this is not creative. There's nothing going on. She had a jacket with pockets in it. At least all the other girls incorporated, like, pockets, I guess, within their look. This this was an afterthought for me. It's like, mm -hmm. okay, bitch, I, I go, I, bitch, I made, got this first ass watch dress, and I don't have enough money to buy another pocket outfit, so let me have somebody make me a, a jacket pocket I can just remove. That's what this is giving me. Yeah. Um, and Gotham has been so creative with her look. Mm -hmm. So it's like, Come on, girl. Don't just give us this gorgeous ass watch dress and then come oh, out with bitch. this whack ass jacket. Bitch, I'm ready to forgive everything because of that watch girl. dress, bitch. Cause that was, and then she had the little watches as the strap on her heels. Bitch, right. it was sickening. What'd you give this? I'm giving it a five, strictly because of you the expect, no creativity. Yeah, you expected more. Yeah, I'm not judging the watch, um, I guess it's a bodysuit or a leotard, mm -hmm. whatever. It's, that's gorgeous, but yeah. it's like, I'm judging this jacket. Yeah. And that's it. And that's that. And that's on that. And honey, what the fuck is new? I got sis, some on is giving you Naomi Campbell of the week, giving you literal pocket, honey. Yes. Give you poly pocket, honey. Give you something in a pocket. pocket. <laughs> honey, she slayed this look. I thought this was so creative. I just yes. love this look. Shout out to the bell bottom. Shout out to the wig. Shout out to the entire denim look. Yes, Good job, Simone. Honey. The house of Avalon got my girl together. Girl. We were a little shaken at first of this episode, but you know, she really pulled everything together. And I'm so excited to see what her final runway yeah. look is going to be. Her and God Meg. And even Rosé, I am yeah. I know they're all gonna turn it out. I'm actually decided to see even Candy too, because like I said, we've seen some up and down looks from her. We'll so, see. Bitch, you better come out with something fierce. Don't come out here with no um, fucking nude illusion. Girl, she gotta, come out, she gotta come out in that train look. That was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> 
But um, anyways, if you guys have made it this far, thank you guys so much for watching. We are about to film our second Q&A video, so if you haven't seen the first one, check it out. Yes, and it's gonna be coming at you guys later this week, so look for those Q&As. Yes, and also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week for the final competitive episode. Bye, y'all.